This doctor works at Yale New Haven Hospital. Has almost 300 people stricken with the coronavirus and the numbers are rising. Quote, yet we are not yet at capacity because of a marked decline in our usual types of patients. In normal times, we never have so many empty beds. Our hospital is usually so full that patients wait in gurneys along the walls of the emergency department for a bed to become available. We send people home from the hospital as as soon as possible so we can free up beds for those who are waiting. But he says, uh, because of canceled elective procedures, we are providing health care at home through telemedicine. What's striking is that uh, heart attack and stroke teams poised to rush in and save lives are mostly idle. Not just at my hospital, he says. Fellow cardiologists have shared with me their cardiology consultations have shrunk, except those related to the coronavirus. In an informal poll of cardiologists, almost half the respondents say they are seeing a 40 to 60 percent reduction in emissions for heart attacks. And the phenomenon is not specific to the country. Investigators from Spain have noticed the same thing, a 40 percent reduction in ER procedures for heart attacks. We're going to be talking about uh, the possible explanations for this because when you have a heart attack, you have a heart attack, right? The heart attack doesn't care whether or not there's a coronavirus. So why would admission for heart attack patients and stroke patients be down? We'll be talking about that in just a second.